how to solve trig equations that look like this one. Okay, so when there isn't a single x value following the sine, cos, or tan part. So the question is solve cos 2x equals 0 0.6 for a range of x values between 0 and 180 degrees. Because in this question we're using cos x, I've done a quick sketch of a section of the graph y equals cos x, which will help us later on. So to start with, I'm just going to start by writing down the equation again. So cos 2x equals 0 0.6. And I'm going to begin by making a substitution so that I can rewrite this equation in a more familiar looking way. So I'm going to make the substitution 2x equals capital X. So I'm going to replace 2x with this capital X. And so the equation now looks like this, cos x equals 0 0.6. You should be able to solve an equation like this, okay? To work out the value of x, you just type into your calculator cos minus 1 of 0 0.6. And when you do that, you should get 53.1301 and so on. Okay? So remember, we've just solved this equation, okay, to find capital X. We're trying to solve this equation at the top. Remember, capital X is equal to 2X. Remember we made that substitution at the start? So this value is actually equal to 2X. So if I want to work out the value of just one little X, I have to divide that answer by 2. Okay, so when I do that, I get 26.565 and so on. And if I round that to one decimal place, I get 26.6 degrees. So that is our first value of x, okay? And you can see that this answer falls within the range of little x, so it's looking good, okay? Now, to work out any other solutions to the equation, what I want to do is take you back to this equation, okay? The one that looks more familiar, okay? Because this says cos x, and the graph that I drew at the beginning is y equals cos x. Notice how the y value has changed to 0 0.6. So because y is equal to 0 0.6 in this equation, I'm going just to draw a horizontal line here at approximately here, 0 0.6. So this is the line y equals 0 0.6. Now where this line intersects cos x here and here, gives me the solutions to this equation. So when I solved this equation at the beginning, cos x equals 0 0.6, I got 53.1, okay? That was the x coordinate to that first intersection point. Okay, so that was our first solution, 53.1. Now, because this section of the graph, y equals cos x, is symmetrical, the line of symmetry being here at x equals 180, we know that this distance from the y-axis to the intersection point should be the same as this distance. So this intersection point to the line x equals 360. So if this distance is 53.1 and this is 53.1, I can work out the x value of this intersection point, which is another solution to this equation. So because it's 53.1 degrees before 360, I have to subtract the 53.13 and so on from 360. Okay, so if I do that, I get, I'm just going to draw a line here to separate my working, 306.869 and so on. Okay? But remember, here we were solving for capital X. So this value is another value of capital X. And remember we made that substitution at the beginning? Capital X is actually equal to 2X. 2 little x. Okay, remember we're trying to work out the little x, not the capital X. So there's one more thing that you have to do with that answer, and that's the same as what you did here. You have to divide by 2. Okay, so if you divide that 306.86 by 2, you get 153.434 and so on. And if I round that to one decimal place, I get 153.4 degrees. 
And because that's the value of x, that's our final solution, okay? Just do a little check at the end to make sure it falls within your range of values. This final answer falls between 0 and 180, so it satisfies what's required in this question. So in this question, we have to solve 3 sine 2x minus 4 equals 2 for a range of values for x between 0 and 180 degrees. This time, because I have sine in the question, I've done a little sketch of the graph y equals sine x. So I'm going to start by writing out the equation again. So 3 sine 2x minus 4 equals 2. And this time, it's a little bit different because we have a number here at the front. So when this happens, you need to make sure that sine is the subject of the equation. So we have to make sure that this part is by itself. So the first thing I need to do is divide by 3. So if I divide both sides by 3, I'm left with sine 2x minus 4 equals 2 thirds. So you always need to make sure that sine or cos or tan is always the subject of the equation at the beginning. Next, we're going to make another substitution. So I'm going to replace everything inside the bracket with capital X again. Okay, because by doing that substitution, we make the equation into something much simpler that we know how to solve. So if I just switch this for capital X, I then have sine X equals two thirds. And I know how to solve this equation. Okay, to work out the value of capital X, you just type into your calculator sine minus one of two thirds. And when you do that, you get 41.8103 and so on. Remember, this is capital X, and we're trying to work out the value of little x, okay? We made a substitution, so we haven't quite finished yet. This value, capital X, is equal to 2x minus 4. So this value is equal to 2x minus 4. So to solve this equation, to work out the value of x, we have to undo everything around x until x is by itself. So the opposite of subtracting 4 is to add 4. The opposite of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2. So I have to add 4 and divide by 2 with this answer here. So leave that answer on your screen in its exact form. Add 4, press the equals button. Then divide by 2, press the equals button. And you should find that you get x equals 22 0.905 and so on. Not forgetting to round the angle to one decimal place, so 22.9 degrees. Okay, so there's the first solution, and it falls within our range of x values, so there's the first one. Now, to find the next solution, we're going to look at our graph, y equals sine x, and remember, in this equation here, the y value has changed to two thirds. Okay, so I'm going to draw on the line y equals two thirds, which is approximately here. Doesn't have to be accurate, just a rough sketch. Okay, and you can see that that horizontal line intersects the curve in several places. Okay, remember where they intersect gives you the solutions to this equation. Okay, we're not using this equation, we're using the substituted equation because this says sine x and this says sine x, okay? Now, the first solution of x was 41.8, wasn't it? So that was the first intersection point, the x coordinate here. Now, because of the symmetry of the graph, hopefully you can see that if this is 41.8 degrees in distance, so is this. Okay, that's also 41.8 degrees. So if this is 41.8 degrees before the line x equals 180, to find the next solution, you would subtract 41.81 and so on from 180. So this is the next value of capital X. Okay, so when we work that out, we get 138.189 and so on. But remember, we have to 
add 4 and divide by 2 because this value is equal to 2x minus 4. Okay, so to work out the value of x, we add 4, then we divide by 2. So leave the answer on your screen, press plus 4, then equals, then divide by 2, press equals, and we find that x is equal to 71.09 and so on. So to one decimal place, that would be 71.1 degrees, which also falls within our range of values. Okay, let's just check the next solution, this one. And again, because of the symmetry of the graph, if these distances here are 41.8 degrees, so is this distance, okay? So to work out the next solution, you would add 41.8 degrees to 360, because it's after 360. So to work out the next x value, I take 360 and I add 41.8. One, la, 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 la. okay. And when I do that, probably shouldn't use a calculator. But I'm told to make a mistake. So we've got 401.8103 and so on, okay. But that's not the x value that we need. Remember, we have to add 4 and divide by 2 to this answer again, just like before. Okay, so leave that answer on your screen. Add 4, press equals, divide by 2, press equals, and we get 202.905, okay? So that's the next solution of x. This time, when we look at the range of values, we can see that it's greater than 180, so it doesn't fall within our range, okay? So we can expect any other solutions following that one to also be outside of the range, and hopefully you can see if you were to go the other way that those values look like they're going to be negative, okay, which also fall outside the range. Okay, so there are two solutions to this question.